Good morning. I'm Nate. This is my little brother Logan, and that's my little sister Olivia. And we're the home siblings. Prom tickets are on sale now. They're $60 each, all three lunches. Tickets include everything. Dinner, dessert, music, and dancing. Professional photos and photo gift. Buy your ticket by Friday, April 22nd for a chance to win a boot... <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Boutonniere and corsage. <laughs> the cleanup on Hunger Food Drive is going on now, bringing your non-perishables. Mackenzie Rafe is collecting toys for Haiti for the remainder of the month of April. These toys will be going to the Haiti Partner Children's Academy in Haiti and the donation drop cities. Your Students Leading Students Board would like to remind you that April is Distracted Driving Awareness Month. Thousands have died in car crashes involving cell phone use. New technology allows us to make phone calls, dictate texts or emails, and update social media while driving. All actions that are proven to increase crash risk. Please monitor your driving. Safety first. SLS challenges you to put away your cell phones, take back your drive, and be a focused driver. The JV girls softball team dropped their first game against a very good Portland team Monday night 4-2. The girls came out swinging in the second game, though, and came out on top, winning 11-10. to Kaylee Dillard got on base four out of six times on the night, while Janelle Leslie reached three out of six times, including a double. The Glads are now 3-1 and one and will travel to East Lansing today, looking to get two more wins. The JV baseball team had their first conference game tonight against Portland. The team rallied late in the first game to attempt a comeback, but came up short, losing 9-7. In the second game, the Glads got out to a good start, putting up two runs in the first inning. However, the team could hold the lead as the defense struggled, resulting in a second loss for the day. In varsity softball news, Portland won both games of a doubleheader in Fowlerville tonight. Game one was a close game with Portland, winning 4-1. to one. Leah Ash pitched for the Gladiators, allowing two earned runs and striking out six. In Game 2, the Gladiators faltered defensively and Portland took an advantage. The Raiders won 11-1. Valerie Wynn provided the offensive spark for the Gladiators with a hit and scoring the only Gladiator run. Valor will place East Lansing at home on Tuesday. The girls' varsity tennis team traveled to Owasso Monday night and came away with a 6-2 victory. We are now 2-1-1 and play our league opener on Tuesday versus Portland. Winning for the Glads in singles and straight sets was Devin Fleischer, third singles, and Lucy Gonzalez, fourth singles. The Glads swept the doubles with the teams of Julia Wikes, Bree Hack, first doubles, Alyssa Bennett, Betsy Bissett, second doubles, Hunter Staberski, Becca Choate, third doubles, and Lily Case, Abby Stepanski, fourth doubles. Losing in tough three setters for Fowlerville was Emily Tersini, first singles, and Ashley Toe, second singles. Girls JV Tennis beat Owasso 7-1. Winning for the Fowlerville were McKenna Peckins at one singles, Olivia Holmes at two singles, Bailey Gyra at three singles, and doubles teams of Grace Hurl and Priscilla Walsh, Maddie Allen and Isabella Cooch, Shelby Durbin and Coco Simons, Grace Shea and Alyssa McGalliard. Winning exhibition matches were Alyssa Mozeko with Emily Roddenbaugh <laughs> and Olivia Holmes with Cassidy McCarthy. Mary Farmer and Chloe Mills ended their match in a tie. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Did you know you can mail a letter all the way from Nicaragua for two pesetos? Really? Tennis! My purity's a priceless thing to me! Hi, I'm Rosalind Apolka. I'm Brad. I'm John. And we're going to be revisiting our roles from You Can't Take It With You and Feast of the Arts, which is free to the public. It's a family from art day a week from now, Tuesday, April 26th. So it's 6 to 8. It's at the Albert Perform Alverson it's at the Performing Arts Center and in the high school hallways. It's going to be a bunch of art demonstrations, which Bradley and I are going to be a part of. There's going to be an elementary art club and junior high students that our art's going to be everywhere. The high school jazz band... Woo! It's performing at 7 p.m. and there's going to be small ensembles playing throughout the evening. There's going to be dramatic presentations at 6. And we're going to have our Empty Bowls ice cream bar from 6 to 8 the whole time. Tickets for that are $2. Everything else is free. And we also have a free student. Uh, every 
every bowl that you eat your ice cream with is a student created bowl and all the money will go towards the visual arts scholarship and the impact and the family impact center we've got a lot of cool art like bradley and i are both visual artists um this is gabby dolan we also have her piece back here this panda uh hope to see you guys there we had an awesome turnout last year and uh yeah. come on out guys <laughs>